Welcome. Um, here at Title Shift, we're continually searching for ways to help our clients gain that all-needed competitive advantage. Very pleased today to have uh, Dr. Nick Horney from Agility Consulting joining us today. Welcome, Nick. Thank you, David. Looking forward to it. Excellent. So, just give you a quick little background on why we're talking to uh, Nick today. Um, he has about 30 years experience in consulting with Agility and, and clients. Um, written multiple articles and, uh, and books, uh, his latest of which is uh, Focus, Fast, and Flexible, Creating Agility in a VUCA World. Um, so tell me a little bit about agility, Nick, because you know, we hear about agile in the project management world. Is this just another flavor of uh, project management, or what are we talking about here? Uh, David, actually, it's, it's a bit different from agile project management, and many people have either heard or implemented uh, Scrum, uh, one of the multiple techniques for software development primarily. And it's been pretty pretty successful for software development. But uh, the, the focus that we have on agility has more to do with culture, has more to do with transformation and mindset in terms of how do we as leaders and as organizations you know, effectively compete in a, uh, a very turbulent environment, one, one business environment that is constantly changing, whether it's uh, digital disruption or whether it's globalization, uh, it's really about building that capability uh, for ongoing change. So therefore the distinction is primarily we focus from the outside in, start with understanding what's going on in the business environment and be able to adjust and adapt you know, based on that as opposed to tools and techniques around software development. Interesting. So it, it almost sounds more like a, a mindset or a culture of the organization is how we can how we can work. Um, now, in your in the title of your book, you actually refer to a VUCA world. What's a VUCA world? Well, I wish I had actually discovered that uh, that terminology. And, and uh, I'm a former Navy person, so uh, I borrowed it from the uh, U.S. Army War College uh, back in the '90s. And the term VUCA uh, stands for volatile, uncertain complex and ambiguous, which I think does a very nice job of describing what, what our business environment looks like now. Um, now, we've also lived in a, a VUCA world for some time, but I think that with the digital disruption that's just happening faster, greater volume, et cetera. And I think that uh, you know, former CEO uh, Jack Welch, former CEO of GE, probably stated it as, as well as anyone else. Uh, and, and I'll try and capture that, that um, you know, if the world around us is, is disruptive and changing so rapidly and we're not adjusting and adapting to that internally, then the end is in sight. Uh, that's true for organizations as well as leaders, individual leaders as well. So I think it, uh, the, the focus is on turbulence, the term now, VUCA is, uh, is a very good uh, kind of descriptor of, of that turbulence. Mm -hmm. So if we don't keep pace with that change, it'll outpace us in That's effect. Correct. And you know, you, you talk about the digital transformation that we're having. We've just passed the 10 year anniversary of the smartphone. I mean, it was, it was, it was just 10 years ago that the first iPhone came out. Um, you know, 1998 was the first commercial text. So, we have, you know, this, like you say, this pace of change that's that's extremely fast. Um, now, as you know, here at Title Shift, we focus on project management, change management, and the leadership that surrounds those. Um, how will agility help our clients in being more effective in in outpacing that change? I think there are really three levels uh, where there could be some assistance and support uh, from uh, Title Shift, and those three levels include the organizational level, a team level and an individual or leadership level. Um, so each one of those, if you look at it through the lens of organizations uh, these days, it really is about transformation of that organization. It's more of an organizational development initiative to be able to adapt and thrive your entire enterprise uh, and build that culture you know, of agility. At a team level, and teams could be defined as business units, um, departments, project management uh, teams, um, and, it, and it's all about building and, in, and ingraining that culture and the mindset of agility into the way that the team actually operates. The third level uh, is at the individual or the leadership level, and leadership agility 
is becoming a, uh, a greater, greater need for, for leaders, regardless of what level you are in the organization. So it's about being focused, fast, and flexible, to use the, uh, the title of the recent book. And so how do, you, how do you display that as a leader in whatever organization uh, you may be in? Fantastic. Thank you so much for your time today. Uh, really looking forward to continuing collaborations with you on this exciting topic in this, in this, this area. I can really see how this is going to be a, a huge advantage to organizations. And I love that we can actually apply it at multiple levels because so oftentimes we see uh, programs and, and concepts that are only applied at one level so that they lose their effectiveness as they're not you know, woven through the, the fabric of the organization. So, so thank you so much for your time today. And for those of you out there watching, if you have uh, more uh, questions or would like some more information around this, please feel free to contact us. Thank you, David. Thank you.